wonderful celebration of life and the lives of Tim and Katie as we come together to ask the Lord to bless them in the sacrament of matrimony. As always, let us begin our celebration with the praise of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. Let us pray. Father, when you created mankind, you willed that man and wife should be one. Bind Timothy and Catherine in the loving union of marriage, and make their love personal, so that they may be living witnesses to your divine love in this world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated now for a scripture reading.
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, and I shall show you a more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing symbol. And if I have the gift of prophecy, and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interest. It is not quick tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. Saying there are two commandments. One is to love God with your whole being. 
other is to love your neighbor. And so today, that love is very evident in the fact that both of you have come here. And from the time of your baptism, the Lord continued to show his love, first of all, giving you human life, and then lifting that human life up through the sacrament of baptism. And from that point on, the gift of the Holy Spirit of God has been indwelling in each of you as it was, as it is, in everyone who is baptized. And that gift of the Spirit gives us the impetus to respond to love. You know, we cannot love in return unless we are loved, because that's how we learn to love. We learn to love because we are loved. And that first act of love comes not from another person, human being, but rather from the love of God. And once we learn that, then we are able to share that love. Now Jesus in his public ministry also taught us that, that the greatest way to gain gifts of God is to give the one you have away. It seems contradictory, but Jesus promised us that when we would give that which is good to someone else, particularly those in need, then we receive a hundredfold. That kind of principle works in marriage. That each day, if you recall for yourself the love that God has for you, you will continue to show your love and express that love to each other for the rest of your lives, every day that God gives you. And you should never let a day go by where you assume that love, but rather in some way express that love for each other. Because when we stop using the gifts of God, when we stop sharing with others, when we assume that they're there, they begin to disappear. And so you never want that to happen. You want your love to grow deeper and stronger. And today, the Lord blesses that act of love with an even greater gift, and that gift is the sacrament of matrimony. You know, any married couple today that thinks that they can be successful in life without having God as part of their life are foolish. Because of the very fact that we cannot live in a godless life, we need to understand where everything that we have has come from. We need to understand that everything that we have needs to be thanked for. So we need to give graciously the thanks to God and to those around us. God has blessed the both of you with beautiful families. God has blessed the both of you with many good friends. And you, you continue to go through life now, as husband and wife, with those people around you, your family and friends, to love you, continue to love you, and to support what you do. And as you recall that, then you need to reciprocate that, showing your love for that in return in a continued way. When you do, the love for them will grow deeper and stronger. St. Paul was very interesting in those new communities that he used to go to. There were, there were Greeks and there were, there were not believers in one God. But St. Paul evangelized them and, and taught them how the love of one God was so important. And he taught them in a way that was very simple. It didn't get complicated. When you read the letters of St. Paul, various communities. They're very, very clear. And that one that you chose today for this ceremony said very much what the element, the main element of Paul's writing is about. And that is we need to let them know that the greatest gift that God has given to us is love. Love never fails, he said. And that's because it comes from God. And the Lord God will never fail us. No matter who we are, no matter what we're like, God's love for us is always present. We need to pay attention to it, and we need to respond. And so today, may both of you continue to respond to the love of God for you. May you continue to realize the love that you have for each other, and continue to let that love grow deeper and stronger. By the sacrifices that you make for each other, by the things that you do for one another, 
sacrificial way, by the love that you show in many different ways. All of these ways are not difficult. They're not extraordinary. They're very ordinary ways that we can take the gift of God and help it to grow. And so today, as family and friends, we come here to pray with you and for you. So that the Lord may continue to watch over you, bless you, and may you continue to live your faith, and in living that faith, continue to show the appreciation you have for the gift that God has now given to both of you in the sacrament of marriage, the gift of each other as men and wife. God bless you. Well, Tim, I know Katie's ready. Are you ready? Okay. Come with me. Tim and Katie, you have come here to present yourselves in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community gathered here. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated the both of you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you in a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and in lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you now to state your intentions. Tim and Katie, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, I would ask you now to join your right hands. <laughs> the other right hand. <laughs> and declare your consent before God and his church. Timothy, do you take Catherine to be your wife? Do you promise to be true to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and honor her all the days of your life? Catherine, do you take Timothy to be your husband? Do you promise to be true to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and honor him all the days of your life? You have declared your consent before the church, and may the Lord, in his goodness, strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, no one must divide. Throughout our lives, we use material objects that just symbolize something that has a much deeper meaning for us in our own individual lives. Wedding rings are such an object that the wedding ring is a sign or symbol of a deep love that God has for the spouse who wears them and a symbol of the love that they have for each other. And so we ask God's blessing upon the rings that Tim and Katie will wear. May they always be a reminder of them, of the Lord's love and their love. Lord, bless these rings which we bless in your name. Grant that Tim and Katie who wear them may always have a deep faith in each other. May they do your will and always live together in peace, goodwill, and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Katie, take these rings as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We have listened to the word of God. Let us now ask God to listen to us, to bless our words of prayer, which we offer for the people of our world. The response is, we pray to the Lord. For the church and all the people of faith throughout the world, may our faith and love God has for us be expressed in our love for one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, may all lands that suffer violence and injustice find peace and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the homeless, and for those who are unemployed, may our care and concern for those in need be a sign of God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the protection and sanctity of human life from conception until natural death. May all people be treated with the dignity they, they deserve as God's children. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For all those preparing for marriage, may they grow in wisdom and grace and reflect God's love to all around them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Katie and Tim, who begin their married life together this day, May they experience the will of God, the support of family and friends, and the blessings of children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially the relatives and friends of Katie and Tim, and of all present for this wedding, may they enjoy perfect happiness and total fulfillment in eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Ever living and caring God, Jesus taught us to ask, to seek, and to knock. We have just done so, confident that you will now look upon our many needs, consider our trusting faith, and in your great love, grant these requests which we present to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. My dear friends, let us humbly invoke by our prayers God's blessings by Katie and Tim, that in his kindness he may favor with his help those on whom he has bestowed the sacrament of matrimony. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image and will that their union be crowned with your blessing, we humbly beseech you for these your servants, Tim and Katie who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. May your abundant blessings, Lord, come down upon Katie and Tim, her companion for life. And may the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from on high, so that living out together the gift of matrimony, 
they may adorn their family with children and enrich the church. In happiness, may they praise you, Lord. In sorrow, may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their needs and in their toil. And know that you are near them always to comfort them in their needs. Let them praise you in the holy assembly of the church and bear witness to you in this world. And after a happy old age, together with the circle of friends that surround them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please stand for a final blessing. <coughs> The Lord be with you. Thy best and blessing. Katie and Tim, may God, eternal Father, keep you of one heart and in love for each other, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. May you be witnesses in the world to God's charity, so that the afflicted and the needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go now in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks to your God.